hey guys welcome back to my channel so today what i'm going to be doing for you guys is a get ready with me slash story time um i did think about this story time really last minute it's almost like if i forgot that this even happened to me but i was like washing dishes you know doing some house chores and i was like bro what the fuck like i remember this happening to me and i'm sure sister if you're watching i know you remember this too if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time i post a new video i already prepped my face for this makeup so now i'm just gonna you know get ready and while i get ready i'm gonna tell you the story it's really the story is like really weird you know but i don't know i'll let you guys be the judge of it for starters so this is back like years ago like yeah i'm not that old but this is this happened when i was like young i was like a kid i probably was 11 at the time and basically what happened was we were living at these apartments and these apartments was like a fourplex so it was us in the front and then there was two side apartments that had upstairs then there was the back side of the apartments which was another apartment the way that so where my room was at it was next to the neighbor that was on the left side of the apartment complex and i just remember this lady as like she was a white lady and she was like old but not that old she probably like was around her early 50s and so what I remember is like every time because like growing up me and my sister we were always outside like we were outside with our heelys or outside with our scooters or riding bikes like we were just always outside and I remember seeing this lady, like, she really had really, like, she had a lot of anger for some reason. I don't know what it was. I don't know if she just didn't like kids. I don't, I really don't know. But she was a lady who lived by herself. She didn't live with anybody else. It was just her in that apartment. And every time she would, like, pull up and park in her garage, she would, like, always just stare at me and my sister, like, with this evilish look though like it was a look like hatred and just like anger but you know me and my sister being kids we didn't really pay attention to that um and we would just you know go about our day there was also so where we would park at there was four car garages in the back and they were like open garages they weren't closed and in between those four uh, car garages was the laundry mat or the laundry room and so me and my sister would even be in there playing around we would be in the car garages playing around um but obviously like on our side in our garage so we wouldn't even, we wouldn't be near her her side and um i remember this one time me and my sister were in the garage and our garage it was on the right side of the apartment complex and hers on the left side and we were in the garages um just playing around in our scooters and mind you we would only be in the garages when there was no cars parked there so um we were there playing around and it's a garage so it obviously echoes and I remember this lady, she came out and started like yelling at me and my sister that we were being too loud and that we were bothering her cats and that we were just being too loud and that she didn't want us on her side. But we weren't even on her side to begin with. We were, um, we were on our side of the garage, it was on the right side. So we were like, what the fuck like we obviously weren't those kids to talk back to adults so we kind of just like stared at her and then we went home and went to go to my mom and then my mom i think knocked on her door and you know was like 
what's going on like you're yelling at my kids and this, this and that and nothing really happened my mom just wanted to see like what the heck the dealio was with this lady and anyways so this lady I always like I don't know I always just got like the the creeps from her because of the way she was one time me and my sister were on the left side of the apartment complex because we had you know some homegirls right there who we would hang out with and they were on it was like a, a neighborhood full of apartments and they lived on the apartments that were um, on the corner street but their car garage was facing our apartments so like we would just be right there in a little like section that was um separating both apartment complexes and this lady literally just had her head out of her window keep in mind this is her living room window okay the apartment complex that we lived in both apartments that were on the sides um had big windows on the sides of the apartment complex building and it was our living room and this lady was just she opened her window she opened her blinds and she just poked her head like right there and she was just watching us play like the whole time yeah i don't know how long she was there because like from the time where i caught her looking and caught her just staring at us i don't know how long she was there for but i instantly was like what the fuck like i was a young kid you know and i didn't know what to think or what to say or what to do so i literally just told like all my little friends and my sister like let's just go like to the front of my house that way she can't see us, she can't look at us, and, and we don't feel awkward, we don't feel um, uncomfortable. And we were, we were there um, at the front of my house now where she couldn't, um, she couldn't just watch us play or do whatever we were doing. Um, so we were right there in the front of my house and then she comes out of her house. I'm not even lying guys she comes out of her house and now she is standing like right there on the sidewalk just watching us play and so i went inside me and my sister went inside to go um, tell my mom and we told my mom and my mom came outside and by the time my mom came outside this lady had already left like she went back inside of her house and um my mom like believed us like my mom already also had like a weird feeling about this lady so we've lived at these apartments for basically like our whole lives we recently moved probably like i think it's like four years ago now so four years ago we were living at that apartment right and she was a new tenant she and I just always had a feeling that this lady like didn't like us like she didn't like anyone no one was living with her she was living by herself with her two cats and no she never like communicated never talked to any other neighbors never talked to us like it was very weird so I always had this weird feeling or towards this lady where I was like she just doesn't like any so the main part of this story is what I'm about to tell you guys right now. So it was one night where everyone was already sound asleep because keep in mind, it was like already three or four in the morning. And me and my sister's room, cause we shared a room, me and my sister's room was basically connected to her living room because that's how the apartments were like um, made. So our room was connected to her living room and then next to our room was my mom's room. And it was three or four in the morning 
and out of nowhere we hear this loud music playing and it wasn't just regular music either it was some creepy ass music that you would hear in like a scary movie or something literally it was like it was like um symphony music you know the symphony music with all the instruments and then you have the one lady like sinking her freaking heart out yeah like music like that and it was so loud like so loud it woke everyone up it woke up the whole neighborhood because all the neighbors that were in our apartment complex woke up they were all outside my mom went outside to the front door and my stepdad to like see what the heck was going on and obviously nobody outside was playing the music it was coming from inside and then with you know the reaction of me and my sister literally waking up scared as shit running to my mom's room we all found out that it was the neighbor that lady that was playing that music and then you had like the upstairs neighbor that was on the back end of the apartment complex they came knocking to our house because they were like what the heck is going on like i'm telling you this lady had this music on full blast out of nowhere at three or four in the morning the neighbor the neighbors um that was living on the back end of the apartments that knocked at our house they went to go knock at her house and they went to go see you know was she okay or does she realize what time it was at night and she didn't answer the door. So then it left them to do like nothing else but to, you know, contact the police. So they ended up calling the police on this lady and the police arrived. We just hear the music shut off. So the music just shuts off auto automatically once the, we see like the police sirens outside. And then um, in my room, since my room, her front steps, literally her front door, I can see through my window that's in my room. You know, us being chismosas, we went back to my room, but this time like with my mom, and we were listening to what she was telling the police officers. Since my window was right there, we could just hear everything. And this lady was saying that she didn't realize that she didn't realize how loud she had her music and but she knew what time it was at night and keep in mind this lady's windows were all open her door her front door was open but it was like closed with a gate with like a screen gate so the music was like you know very hearable you could hear it even if she was to have everything closed, you can still hear that music through the walls. It was so loud. And then the police just end up, you know, telling her like, you know, it's very late at night that she shouldn't be playing music at all, basically. And that there was like complaints, you know, made about her. And she just, you know, was like, okay. And she went about her night. And then the cops leave. And this lady turns on the music on full blast again. Yeah, that night was very, very traumatizing. <laughs> um, like, she, for real, that lady needed, like, help. So after that night that she pulled that off where where she was like blasting that music that creepy ass music that late at night she did it again for like the past for like the next two nights she did it and like my mom didn't know where like what to do with that like no matter if the cops came out you know and was like turn off the music like she was gonna do it again so like that night me and my sister ended up sleeping in my mom's room because we were like so freaked out we were like dude like this lady is gonna like jump through our window and like freaking kidnap us or something at least that's how we felt but and then i remember this one time where 
um, it was just me by myself. I just was going like around the apartment complex with my scooter. Passed by her house. And this lady was already, like her face was already outside of the freaking window. Like just staring. I just looked this way and I seen her freaking face like right there. Outside of the, outside of her window. Like that's so fucking creepy as a kid to think about. Like oh my god, like I'm surprised. I didn't just stay in the house like for the rest of the time that she lived there because it was really creepy. Okay, you guys, well, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I was saying, this lady was really weird. She was really like to herself and not being to yourself is weird. But when you're to yourself and you're rude to your neighbors, that's where it gets weird because... It's like you have no reason to and then on top of that the whole thing she pulled off with the bumping the loud music at two i mean at three or four in the morning is really weird too i don't know what she was expecting or what was her reason behind doing those things but she did those things a year later she ended up moving out of the apartment complex and after that i never heard or seen that lady again i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um i enjoyed filming it like always i enjoy filming videos for you guys um i love to see that people actually watch my videos so if you're one of those people i appreciate you a ton so i'll see you guys in the next video